Hi, this is Vicky, also known as Dragonfly7673, and um, you're watching Dragonfly Soars. It's June 14th, it's a Tuesday, and it is 7 o'clock, and I have a very whiny Tigger with me, because he wants me to open the windows, except for I don't want to open the windows right now. Um, and right before I started recording, he actually knocked the table and knocked the camera over, so I'm hoping he doesn't do that again while I'm filming. Yes, I see you. Um, this will probably be a shorter episode, partially because I don't have a ton to show you. Um, one of the things I showed you last week in my totally random episode was that I had started, uh, uh, it's called a virus shawl, and I started crocheting that. Well, I think I told you that it made my hand hurt for a couple days. I, the other day, decided, well, I'll just try and crochet a little bit. I, not even 10 minutes, and my hand was hurting. Um, which means trying to crochet purple hats is going to be a problem. I am also struggling to knit. Um, I am working slowly on, this is my uh, Martina Bem Brickless, out of my Knit Circus Gradient. And now granted, this is a little bit longer row, but not outrageous. I am lucky if I get one row done. And I don't mean back and forth. I mean one row done a day. Um, it greatly bothers my hand. What I've been doing is as I get like a couple minutes at work, like somebody calls me on the phone, I knit a few stitches and that's how I'm getting a row done. Um, and even that, feels like too much. So unfortunately my Heidi shawl, there is nothing going on with that. Um, so on the plus side, I had decided that no matter what, this lace section was going to be my last section. Well now it feels like it's eating the yarn. I'm clearly in the last, in the final pink color. So I think it's going to be, um, when I finish the lace section and I have, a. Uh, 10 rows, I think it's going to be right on. And if I, and even if I don't get to 10 rows, I'll be okay with that. So, um, actually I should look at it because normally it's, it's nine back and forth in the lace section. And then you do one more with a bind off to make the little bend, to make the little, um, uh, I want to say scallop edge and that's not quite right. These, the little zigzag edge. So like you have, you end up with nine holes and then on the tenth one you actually go back and bind off. So you get that little zigzag. But anyway, seriously, if I get two rows on that done in a day, like all the way across and back, that's a really big day. Um, so yeah. Knitting isn't happening. So if you normally come for knitting and crochet, I'm sorry. <laughs> On the plus side, I am glad that I refound stitching before I hurt myself because I have been able to do that. Now, I was not entirely smart. <laughs> I um, finished my pumpkin passport. Then I took it out of the Q-snap and I took a picture of it as a whole laid out because normally part of it is covered with the Q-snap. Um, and then I repositioned it so that I could work on July when July is ready. Well, that means that I actually now in the Q-snap am covering part of the June picture. So I'm telling you, <laughs> um, it, the June picture is done. The banners on the top and bottom are done for, for the first half. Um, I haven't worked any more on the letters. All I have is the L and the E. And, uh, but I do have pictures, so I'm going to post them here. All right, and so that was Pumpkin Passport. I don't have a fresh picture of the Brickless. Um, like I said, I just sort of throw it in my bag and work on it a little bit at a time. I have been working my, I finished the pumpkin passport and before I pick up anything else big, I decided to work a little bit on my sugar skull 
So I don't remember exactly where you saw it last week, but I know I have done more beads. So I know for sure all the blue beads and the orange beads are new because I did the blue ones yesterday and I did the orange ones today. Um, I actually don't usually do anything before I podcast, but somebody on the Stitchamania Facebook group had said that if you're um, struggling to thread the beading needle for Mill Hill kits, that they use a size 28 tapestry needle. So I was like, I gotta try that. So I actually went, stopped at Joann's on my way home and bought um, size 28 tapestry needle. And sure enough, it worked great. I don't know if it'll work for everything. And I haven't done any of the petite beads yet, but um, the blue I had done last night, I had like an hour after I finished with Pumpkin Passport and got it all put away. That was the other thing. I put it all away without thinking about the fact I needed to record. Anyway, I got that all put away, and then I had about an hour before bed, so I just picked, I just grabbed this, and so I did all the blue beads last night, and then I did the orange right before I started recording. And this I do have a picture of. All right, um, my big project, of course, is the Disney project. Um, but I've made, done nothing on that because, like I said, I finished Pimp Pumpkin Passport yesterday. And this one is pretty close to done. So, you know, I've got a couple more colors. And I may just kind of keep that around because it's so handy to have that little bitty project. Um, I did decide that my next small project will be this one. This is the Stitching Sheep. And it's got a little squirrel knitting on it. This is 25 count linen, so it would be my first time using linen, and it's small. The stitch count is 51 by 45, so it, it's like basically four inches by four inches. Um, you know, it's like four and a quarter and three and seven quarter, seven. I want to say 3.75, and I want to say three and three quarters at the same time, and it came out three and seven quarters, which is totally inaccurate. Anyway, <laughs> it's about, it's approximately four inches by four inches. Um, so, it should be, I thought it would be a good uh, experience for linen. Um, especially because it's just cross stitch and back stitch. There aren't, um, and um, French knots for the squirrel's eyes, but I know how to do French knots. So it wouldn't be any new stitches or anything like that. It would just be cross stitching on another fabric in a small size. So I thought that would be good. And so that'll be my next small one. Um, I have some uh, stitching related stuff. Let me move some things around. I had told you that I had bought a big bag of floss. I just kind of showed you guys. And I said I had placed an order. Well, I got perforated paper, um, silver, gold, white, brown. I didn't realize it was going to be this big. I should have. It said 9 by 12. It said two sheets of 9 by 12 in each pack. But in my head, it was half sheets, like what I got with the um, Spirit of Oz Santa. So, actually, I have plenty. But the uh, some of the angels need either gold or silver for the wings. Um, one of them or two of them need white. Probably the cross stitch and knitting would be my guess. Anyway, I got perforated paper. And all sorts of credit. All different colors. And um, Mill Hill beads and memory thread it's used to like make um like the uh, the wizard of oz santa belt and part of the hot air balloon and stuff like that so um one of these is called facet to me it looks like old pipe cleaners this facet no this is chenille oh i don't have the facet yet I have three things that are coming from somebody else that should be here in a few days. Anyway, I'm going to... I need to get some two-gallon bags. And then I'll kit up the 
uh, those pieces for, oops. I dropped one of the threads and I don't want the kitties to decide it's a toy. I will kit up those Brooks books kits. I also got, I gotta figure out what I did with it. Well, let me pause here. I have a picture of that, and then it'll help me figure out what I did with my stuff. All right, I found it. I was starting to panic. The other day, I got two pieces of fabric. Um, this one is called Ophelia. I don't know if you'll be able to tell that it is super sparkly. It is from Under the Sea Fabrics. It's 14 count Ada um, opalescent, which makes it the sparkles. Um, and it's 18 by 26. So that would be a fat quarter, I believe. But I mean, it's good size. This, I normally don't do this. I normally like remember everything I bought. I actually got an email from Under the Sea Fabrics and she's like, I'm really sorry, it's getting delayed because um, I don't have the fabric to dye. I'm like, okay. I didn't remember ordering it. I mean, later I kind of did, but I that doesn't normally happen to me. So then I was trying to figure out, I wonder what color it is because it said Ophelia, but I didn't know what color that was. And what in the world did it, was I planning for it? When I saw it, I remembered this... Um, I was thinking of for the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery Once Upon a Time sampler. So um, that was their yearly knit along a few years back. I don't even know when. Because um, I think last time was, so maybe it was two years back. So 16 is travel, 15 I think was story time, and 14 was Once Upon a Time, maybe. Anyway, and I remember thinking that I thought that the sparkly would really add. Apparently, I also signed up for the um, fabric of the month, which was this uh, Nyad, and it's uh, Ada 14 count, also a fat quarter, in this pretty blue-green. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I really love the color, so... So anyway, I wanted to show those to you, and then I was like, what did I do with them? I left them by the front door because I took them outside to photograph them. All right, something else that happened last week. Um, Thursday. Thursday? Yes. Wednesday was the night I stayed up really late. Thursday was the night I really wanted sleep, and... Um, I had an event at work, and then it was stitch and pitch uh, at the Brewers Baseball with my old knitting group, who are harassing me, telling me I need to come back. Um, although I am struggling a little bit because I can't knit and I can't crochet. So I don't really know what to do at knitting group. And my stitching generally is not what I would consider portable. But we did get new bobbleheads. This is the old Brewer's mascot, Barrel Man. I'm assuming he's a, you know, beer barrel, like a keg type thing. Oh my. <laughs> um, and he is wearing a knitted sweater vest. Not really ceramic, but it's supposed to look like a knitted sweater vest. And he has a couple yarn balls down here. So, um, I haven't gone all the years, but the other couple that I've gone to, I have um, one of the, uh, we have sausage races, and because Clement's Sausage is a sponsor, and one of the, so I have one with one of the sausages knitting, and I have one with one of the sausages doing some sort of needlework. It could be cross-stitch, which now is totally fitting. Not entirely sure how that goes back in. But anyway. Ah. <laughs> if 
figure it out. I can put shapes into holes. Yeah. All right. I don't have anything else to talk about at the moment, but I did want to draw a winner for the sock bunny skein. Um, I asked you guys to tell me your favorite season and what you don't like about that season. So there were... I had it open, then apparently I shut it down. I used that window for something else. There were 25 posts. I was the first one, so I'll do 2 through 25. 2 through 25. Random. I really enjoyed reading these. The winner is number nine. Number nine is Little Mermaid. She said, summer is my favorite season because it, it means days spent in the pool, enjoying the sunshine. What I don't like is that I can sometimes get too hot and then it makes knitting not so much fun. <laughs> so, uh, Little Mermaid, uh, that's Tina. <laughs> You need to send me your real life mailing address so I can mail you the sock bunny yarn. And I want to thank uh, Kimberly so much for donating this for us. That is all I have. Um, yeah. <laughs> I have things I could talk about and then I I'm not quite feeling up to it. I'm not prepared. I wanted to talk a little bit about... Well, I can talk about gritty. And only because I wanted to say something about it. So, I posted on Facebook. You know, wow, I finished greeting for my Disney piece. Which is, you know, huge. And, you know, most people are like, yeah, really good. That's a big accomplishment. You know, and a couple of people did say um, that they used marker instead of thread. But there was some concern over whether the marker would last the entire time or if it did last, would it ever come out? Um, and some people were saying that they uh, use Magic Guide, which is where the guide is actually already printed on the fabric. And, but there's a few people who were like, I never grid. I've been stitching for 30 years and I never grid. And I'm like, what's the point of telling me that? <laughs> um, to me... Gritting is a little like knitting with lifelines and stitch markers. It just helps you more easily see if you've made a mistake. It's easier to monitor a little square of 10 by 10 than it is a whole big item. Now, I don't grid everything. Pumpkin Passport is not gridded at all because the features are so distinct. It's really easy to see. But I mean, even when I started with Disney, it's like, I'm really glad the grid is there because I, it's easier to count blocks and then count the stitches within that block than it is any other way that for me. But it's like I said, it's like having stitch markers. You know, if you made a mistake, it's somewhere between this mark and this mark. Um, so it just makes it easier for me. I just sometimes people are like, I've never used it. Okay. Good for you. Uh, <laughs> if you have never used stitch markers and never used lifelines and never used grid lines, that's bully for you. <laughs> but it, that doesn't mean you should sound like you're talking down to somebody who does, which is a little high how it came across. Um, I mean, I have a friend who doesn't like using lifelines. But she also admits that if she makes a mistake, she's going to have to rip out a chunk of it and really work to figure out where it's, where her mistake is. Um, she likes doing that. But she doesn't say anything bad about other people. So, all right. That was all. I was going to say that about grid lines this last time, and then I ended up not really having a real episode. So, I had it marked down. Um, yep. That would be it. Little Mermaid, I need your, Tina, I need your um, mailing address. So I will talk to you guys all next week. Bye now.